What's going on YouTube? Welcome back here to the channel. Hope you fans are having an awesome one. The V24.20 update at the second major update of this season has officially been released and it is 8.2 gigabytes of update guide. There's a lot of stuff we're going to be talking about in today's video guys, which is insane. The official attack on Titan collab is now active in game guys Aaron Yeager is available to be claimed and also Levy is also in the atom shop and also Misaka as well code VYCG if you guys are copying any of these skins in the atom shop and if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to drop a like subscribe turn on post notification we're gonna be keeping you guys updated on all information that's happening in Fortnite. The new Renegade Runner skin has also been updated. If you guys have uh, seen this skin in the survey, it is officially updated guys, and it's gonna be coming out in the Atom Shop. We're gonna be talking about all those stuff, so make sure you stick around here until the end of the video. Now, first things first guys, all the updated cosmetics is what you're seeing for the V24.20 update is here on screen guys. And if logging in right now, uh, on Fortnite, you are going to be getting a second style for the Panda Team Leader, guys. If you already have the skin, a second freestyle is now available, which is insane. I believe there's also a loading screen as well, guys. You can also claim uh, if you're a part of the crew pack uh, or subscribe to the crew pack as well, which is pretty cool. Now, for this update, a lot of you are probably wondering, where are the ODM Mythics, guys? I believe there is three Mythics available uh, for this update, guys, is what you're seeing on screen. And thanks to FN Assist on Twitter. We have the ODM gear, the Thunder Spears, and also the Ultra Hard Steel Blades, which is insane. All of those combined is a really, really good combination, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Now, for the first location, guys, it is located right here at the Anvil Square. In this little basement section, there is a chest right there, or basically like an ODM or a Aaron Yeager secret chest. And this chest actually spawns all of the mythics, though it can be random at times, and you can only get like one mythic, sometimes two mythics. It all depends, guys. There was also information talked about the level up quest pack as well. If you guys remember those packs, they normally come out like mid season or possibly like late season when the season is nearly finished. And as what Fire Monkey is actually saying, the, the level up quest pack for this season is codenamed Scarlet Bionic. So I'm sure it is probably going to be coming out in the next update, which is the V24.30. Hopefully, we might be seeing that. Uh, for the next update guys we also have a first look of the smart pistol which is known uh in the falls now as the lock on pistol not really sure if this is in game guys it is probably in game not really sure to be honest we're probably gonna have to do some more researches on that but as what i for monkey is actually saying or not i for monkey but hypix is saying the new lock on pistol it's a specialized pistol that locks onto and attracts a target especially useful during high speed pursuits so if you know uh, somebody who's actually running from you with the uh, the new ODM gear or maybe in a, on a car or in a bike, all that guys, you can actually use this smart pistol or the lock on pistol to track their movements. Now speaking of bikes guys, the dirt bike has finally returned to Fortnite and this was basically needed to be honest because the uh, the new bike, the new rogue bike, it can't actually do the turns as much as how the dirt bike can and you know like climb mountains and stuff. So. The dirt bike was actually needed back into this season, so it's really cool that it is uh, it is back, guys. But for mainly changes that's happening into the V24.20, basically what Hypix is saying on gameplay changes right here. So the dirt bikes have been unvaulted. They reduced the max headshot damage of the Mythic Havoc pump shotgun. So I'm not really sure if this pump shotgun can actually one pump anymore. Uh, they reduced the accuracy and the hip fire rate of the Mythic overclocked pulse rifle. So that's down. And they also introduced a rare kinetic blade, same damages, uh, but only two charges. So the old swords have been replaced with the new ones, and I believe they're actually in rarity now. So the higher the rarity, the more charges it has. For those of you fans who are interested in creative, uh, Fortnite News basically talked about Epic is actually working on a mega city prefab as well which is i believe it's some sort of like uh like a new island where you can work on in creative which basically is mega city so who knows maybe you guys can actually fool around that in creative once it uh releases which is pretty cool leave all your thoughts down below as well final information guys on the renegade runner skin guys as i talked about in this video at the start of the video this official skin pack is going to be able to claim for absolutely free hands out of fortnite with the brand new competition that's going to be held for it guys now as we're on the official epic games website Website, which is basically says by the Fortnite team she may be the second sister but her eyes are always on the first place 
uh, change up the atmosphere with the Renegade Runner outfit uh, booting up in the Atom Shop starting Saturday, guys. So it's going to be coming out officially in the Atom Shop on Saturday. And it says uh, April 15 at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, it says eager to run upwards in the standings on Wednesday, April 12th compete in the renegade runner cups for the opportunity to unlock renegades runners outfit the babbling and more before they drop it the item shop which is on saturday now for a better look of the skin bundle guys this is basically how it actually looks leave your thoughts down below in the comment section we have the renegades rucksack babbling the renegades star pickaxe and also the mark of the renegade wrap it is also it is also going to be coming with a sick loading screen as well guys which is pretty cool we can actually see a display of the smart pistol in this one and also uh, she's actually with her sister which is the renegade raider so that is pretty cool you know taking on some foes and stuff very nice guys very nice loading screen to be honest it also says right here for more information on the cup it says grab your duo partner for the renegade runner cups so it is actually gonna be zero build duos competition that is april 12 in which you guys can play and push for the top of the region to be amongst the persons that actually uh earns the skin so we have the renegade runner outfit and also the renegade uh raiders rucksack babbling and also the renegade star pickaxe and the mark of the renegade rap before they hit the item shop so i believe this is all you're going to be getting plus if you just get an additional like 16 points or just get 16 points uh before you like you know going crazy in the tournament and all that just getting at least 16 points actually gets you the starry raider emoticon so that is pretty cool. Leave all your thoughts down below what you guys think about that. For the match placement, guys, and also the points you need to get to stay ahead of the competition, as I said uh, in, in for these videos, guys, each elimination is a one point. So the best thing you should normally do when placing or, or playing these competitions is always look for placements. So as what it says here, guys, seventh place is 15 points. So getting 15 points each match or probably more than that puts you in a top position. Now for these tournaments, guys, it is usually 100 to 150 points is needed at most to get a particular skin. It's not required for you to get past that. 100 points to 150 is normally the standard points you need uh, to actually get a skin. It also depends on how the skill gap of your opponents is in the tournament as well. So that's basically something you should look on. But it said right here, uh, first, uh, first to 250, which is on Oceana server, that's basically where you need to be for the first top 250 to earn the skin for Asia it is first to 450 uh, for ME which is basically Middle East is 225th EU is one first to 1400th and also uh, Brazil is a first to 450 and for North America guys we have any East any Central and also any West it is basically placing from first to 1000 to actually get the skin guys now for more information guys i will leave the link in the description for both of these websites you guys can go check those out for yourselves and see further on on stuff i probably didn't explain but with that being said leave your thoughts down below in the comment section i'll be happy to explain anything else you guys want in today's video and don't forget to drop a like subscribe turn on post notification check out any of these videos here on screen and i'll see you over there peace out